Oh, look at this guy. He is in rough shape. My word. <laughs> look at that. This car has seen some love for sure. Missing a wheel. Notice how worn these are. I don't think I've ever seen wheels that have been worn down like that. So this is a split in image. Uses the bearing wheels, and it's missing one right there. And just about everything is, is bad with this car. It is in rough, rough shape, but we're gonna get it looking nice. And what we're gonna use for it is I have one of these. And this is a uh, 25th anniversary split in image. Uh, you need to be careful when you're out looking for cars not to get one of these, get excited and pay overpay because these are not worth a whole lot. You can usually find these for between three and seven dollars. Um, that's why I usually see them for. And what I'm hoping to be able to do is to take the parts, like the engine, it's almost impossible to find the engine for this, a replacement. But I can get it off of here, I'm hoping. And then the glass, and the wheels aren't gonna work because they're uh, the axled wheels. But just the engine and the glass will definitely pay for itself because the glass would cost probably seven to ten dollars to find a replacement for and the engine another ten to fifteen dollars is what i've seen them when i do find them and i you know i paid i think five dollars for this car so we're going to take this one apart and take this one apart and we'll see the differences on what they are on the inside because i can tell you they're going to be constructed differently and then we're going to figure out how we can take these parts and use them on this one so this is going to be a cool build it's going to be doing some stuff that we haven't done before First thing we need to do is take this guy apart. So I'm going to do that off camera because that's, you know, kind of boring. When you see this next, we're going to have both of these cars apart and we'll compare them together. Okay, they've both been drilled apart. So let's first look at the original. Got those two parts. So let's see how this one matches up. And it looks pretty good. I don't think there's going to be any problem at all taking this glass and replacing it with that. Let's see this motor. If I can figure out how to pop it out. And it looks like it's going to fit just fine. Real good. Okay, so that relieves my fears. We will, these wheels, it's another thing. These wheels are worth about $10 if you're going to buy them separately. So that makes this car that I paid, you know, I forget, it was 5 or $6 for, um, worth about $30 in parts for me. So this is kind of one of those tricks of the trade. If you're going to restore red lines, look for these 25th anniversary red line remakes. They got all sorts of good parts. The next step is going to be to strip the paint off of this. And then we'll see how bad it is. I have a feeling that we're going to have a lot of work ahead of us. So let's get this guy in the stripper tank. Got my pickle jar of citrus strip. So we'll just let the guy marinate in there for a while. Blub, 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 blub. It's like quicksand. It's good stuff. So this base is in pretty rough shape. And uh, the axles are a little bent. We'll be able to fix those. It's not too bad. I already cut one wheel off while I wasn't recording. So I'm going to cut this one off. We're cutting it off because if you try and pull them off, it can pull the bearing off with it, and it's just not worth worth it. I mean, these wheels are you know, not salvageable anyway. So I just cut them off, leave a nice clean bearing, and that'll make it very easy for us to put some reproduction wheels on here. Now, the simplest way for me to clean up this base is by dipping it in some lime out. Uh, I'm a little concerned about these bearings because this is an acid. Hopefully it won't hurt these bearings. I'm just going to dip it in for, for a little while. But if it hurts these bearings, then I am up Cred Creek. So let's just give it a try. Alexa, set a timer for four minutes.
This is after some fine steel wool. It's not a mirror shine, but it's good. Got a lot of pitting in some of these areas down in there. And while it's certainly possible to sand that out, I just don't feel like putting forth that effort on a base. I think this is plenty good and a whole lot better than what it looked like before. I might clean out with a pick. Here, let me grab a pick. Because that is bothering me now that I see it. When you see this in real life, I don't notice it, but if I can get between these letters. Okay, that's as good as I'm going to get it. So, next we need to put on the wheels. So we're going to use these reproduction wheels. And you want to use your axle tuner, stick it back behind the bearing so that it's supported. And then just push one. There we go. Okay, so there's the pretty wheels, but look how terrible. <laughs> that's, that's like ludicrously badly bent. So let's. Spin those back. That's with the new wheels all on it. Looks awesome. Vroom. Looks really good. This this restoration is coming together quite nice. Hopefully the body will come together as nice as the base did. Vroom. So as we expected, the body's pretty rough shape. Lots of corrosion, lots of discoloration. Lots of little pits all over it. Pits all over it. I uh, sanded a little bit here. It's hard to tell because it's so shiny. But you can see those dark areas are the pits. So I've got a lot of sanding ahead of me because this is going to be spectra flame. That means this body has to be as perfect as possible. Once I sand it down, then we will zinc plate it. So that's what we're going to do. It kind of looks like a spaceship right now. <laughs> like it could almost be in Star Wars. Pew, pew, pew. Okay, it's the next day. And this is the culmination of about two hours of sanding. Certainly not perfect yet. I still have some work to do on it, but it's getting close. Um, there were more pits than I expected, but most of what you can see here is just discoloration. It's really not that bad. It's, it's kind of hard to tell on camera, but you can start seeing some of the areas I still need to work on. That's discoloration there. Discoloration up there. But we've got some... That's a big pit right there. I don't think there's anything I can do about that. Get to a point where you're going to start changing the shape of the body, and I don't want that. So I have to be careful, especially back here. I'm actually starting to wear these down. I don't want that. So you might just have to stop. But um, I think the next time you're going to see it, it's going to be in the zinc plater. And I'm going to be zinc plating it, which is always my favorite part. And it's going to look so much better after we get it zinc plated. It's difficult to see in there, but it's bubbling away. I usually let it plate for 15 minutes, take it out, polish it up, do it again. Three times is almost always enough, but sometimes I'll go a fourth time. So it just depends on, you know, the situation. So hopefully it's going to look awesome. As long as I degreased it, which I think I did, then it should look really good. Okay, so now we have it polished, zinc plated, and polished up. Uh, it's essentially a mirror shine. You can see my fingers in there. Uh, very, very nice job. Looks good. So uh, I'm going to degrease this, and we're going to put it in the paint booth, and we're going to paint it. I think that I'm going to use this uh, aqua color. Seems like it's the closest to what it was originally. So we're going to spectra flame this guy up. He's going to look beautiful, I can tell already. The spectra flame paint from the Redline shop just does an unbelievable job. And I can tell already I'm going to like this color. Do you have to be careful and measure it because you need to put the correct amount of hardener in with it. If you don't, it'll it'll flake off. It's really really delicate if you don't use a hardener, but with the hardener, it's it's as good as clear coat. It's crazy. And my experience is that it's better to put a little bit too much hardener than not enough. But you also don't want to waste it because it's it's not cheap. Not not expensive. I don't think it's. I think that the uh, the Spectra Flame paint in general is 
very inexpensive for what you get because it lasts so long. And you can make it last even longer if you want to by mixing clear coat in with it, but I don't do that. Okay, it is about to get loud, and I'm going to wear a mask because this is nasty stuff. Here it is, it looks beautiful. I like this color a lot. It actually looks a lot better in real life than it does in this camera. As usual, always looks better in real life. Very nice. So we just need to put this guy back together, really. There's a few other things we have to do. Got the original interior and the glass from the reproduction. That fits pretty perfectly really nice all right we are almost done we just got really got two more things to do one of them is this reproduction engine is slightly different on the inside if you'll notice the reproduction casting has a hole all the way in the back and has four slots for the engine and this one has a hole forward a little bit, and it has three slots. So what I'm gonna need to do, this should be really easy. Take some flush cutters. Cut, just cut off these tabs. off this tab which is almost is not there anyway yeah that's good let's see how well it fits pretty good it's pretty flush yep just about perfect so all I've got to do is glue that down we'll be very sparing with our glue here not take much glue at all and we don't want to smear it on our paint looks good and the last thing we need to do is the original like this one had brake lights so just gonna put some brake lights. This is usually, if I mess it up, this is where it's gonna happen. So the red wasn't showing up, so I had to put a base coat of white first. And then some red. My red pen will work. There we go. Okay. Yep, this guy looks awesome. Ended up being a great restoration. I don't know if it would have been possible to get it done perfectly, but man, it looks good. It looks good. If you remember, this is the before. And now the after. And I appreciate you watching this till the end. And I will see you in my next video. I hope. Bye. Vroom. Vroom.